Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 118 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. It's pretty hard to say those numbers. They're so high. <laughs> I've never had uh, a series last this long, uh, but I'm having a blast still. So. Let's keep going, because <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a lot more we can do still. Uh, yeah, so today we're going to be um, working on our draconic upgrades, um, filling those up so that we can go and fight the Chaos Dragon again. I probably won't record that. Uh, it took a long time and this way if I don't record it I can do it bits and pieces if that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> um, because it's um, the way it's set up I can leave the fight at any time and come back uh, when I have more time to, to work on it. Um, so that's always cool. Uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, like, lose your, you don't lose your progress if you leave and come back. And that's, that's something that I did enjoy, because I don't think I would have been able to sit there the whole time, uh, during that fight. <laughs> but, so, uh, let's go see what we can, uh, automate to make our, our lives easier. <laughs> so, um... I've set up some of the recipes that I want for um, for my chess piece, but I haven't done the bow. Um, let's see, it's at 72 damage, and we we have like tons of room here. Oh, I I went ahead and. I um, completely forgot about it because it took so long, um, but I set up the other power pot and put the warp fungus on there. Uh, so now, um, how much fungus do we have? 1.4k. Okay, that went up pretty quickly, so uh, I'm happy with that. We could possibly turn our uh, mycelial reactor on. I feel confident now with that that many mushrooms or fungus and more coming in that we can sustain our uh, mycelial network. Um, we do have quite a bit of books stocked up. That's my my other main concern is that I'm not sure if um, while it's on our system can, can sustain the amount of books we need because I, I don't know how many it's going to need uh, but I think everything else pretty much has a good uh, base Except for the halitosis mycelial generator. Um, but we found out that we could, oh, and the pink guy, because all we have for these guys is like one botany pot. So <laughs> it gets like one every once in a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure. So we do the pink dye. Uh, that was just the dye essence from the dye seeds. We get one of 75% uh, of the time. And you need three of them in order to make one dye. Uh, so, and that burns pretty quickly too. Pretty sure. Um, let's see. Oh no, we don't have. Yeah, we do. We have one. I want to 
want to see how long this burns. Oh wow, four seconds. Um, that's like the mushrooms, I think. I think the mushrooms are four. Or are they... Ten. Yeah, they're ten. Okay. So, now that we have this fixed, we have to fix our dye. Because that's going to be getting eaten a lot faster than the mushrooms. Um, <clears throat> but, we now have the power pots running, and that's more than our power uh, output. Oh, look at that. It's going. So, I figure I can leave this running for a while. Um, oh, hold on. Okay, yeah, it's only got like 600 essence. It's not going to take <laughs> long to run through that. Oh, you know what would be really cool is, check this out, um, <laughs> I don't, I can't believe I just thought of this. Uh, this is redstone controlled. Uh, redstone signal will turn the whole thing on or off. What if I um, put a detector on there? Just, um, and had it detect the die level. Like, if the die goes under 50, shut the system off or don't emit a redstone signal. I think that would work. That would be super cool and awesome. And then once the die catches back up, turns back on um, and then we can wow that's pretty cool um, yeah I think I want to do that um, another thing is that I noticed uh, my interfaces aren't doing what I wanted them to do. Like I wanted them to only keep one item in the machine, but they went ahead and put 64. Um, so I'm kind of not happy about that. Uh, I mean, I like it that I can control it, but I could control it the other way too. So. I don't know, I might fiddle with that some more. Uh, I might take the interfaces off and put uh, exporters back on. Um, I was just playing around with the integrated dynamics. Um, they do have an inventory reader uh, and a redstone writer. This is what I was using to play with um, let's go ahead and, uh, actually, let's set up the detector first. Um, yeah, why not? We can put 
put you right there. I'll actually put you one down. Actually, let's put you right there. I think. Okay, so our detector is now hooked up. Um, we will say some items emit signal when on the amount. Now we want it to emit a signal when above a certain amount. There we go. And we want to say uh, 50 or No, the dye essence. Okay, and that's true. Um, but you're not sending your signal down. So I have to move that. Um, let's try that again. I meant signal went above 50 for the dye essence. Okay, it's not transferring its information to uh, the red alloy wire. So it wasn't like a directional thing. I thought maybe it was because it wouldn't transfer it down, but it looks like it's not transferring it at all. Um, I wonder if I could use that uh, like, is there a redstone reader um, in the integrated dynamics at a redstone reader okay um, let's oh okay full click Well, and I, I don't know that this will work, but we can try. Um, grab some of you. Um, we want to read the redstone from here. Me not go in there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and remove this guy. Uh, we'll leave a spot and go up one. Oh, or we could just do it right here. Like this. Have our reader right there. And then have our writer Yeah, like that. Um, did I get the cable out? I did. I am so smart. I'm 
I'm so thankful for past me. <laughs> Thank you, past me. All right. Um, I think we need our cards now. We need a card to set up the Boolean. We need our programmer doodad. Okay. Um, so, redstone. If there is a redstone level, yes. We want a redstone level. We want this. Oh, no, I want it true. changed it. Can I change it? This. Cool. I didn't know you could do that, but... Okay, so... Stone Boolean, if there is redstone. True. Okay, so this should work then. there was a way I could tell if this was getting okay now I can okay the redstone low is false that means if this looks like it means that redstone is off because it's grayed out and this one is true uh, because it's red um, redstone high is a signal of 15. So right now it is receiving a redstone signal. So why aren't you... Oh, maybe, maybe it just can't... Uh, transfer the signal to thread alloy wire. Or, we know it's working within integrated dynamics. Um, it is receiving the signal from the refined storage system. So, 
theoretically, since it's not transferring to the alloy wire, we just remove the red alloy wire and hook our little um, redstone riders up directly to the interfaces. And then that should, that should work. Um, so I might work on that um, in between episodes and get that that way I can just leave this on and forget about it and I know if the pink dye gets low it will shut off and it won't be wasting all the other materials while that one's not running because then it won't be um, keeping our network going and I'll also try to think of a way to since we are already going integrated dynamics, I could go ahead and put a inventory reader on there as well and have it restrict uh, what goes into there so I can emit uh, a redstone signal When there's one in there and then cut the flow off. Actually I could simulate um, like the the reactor being shut off for that particular one as soon as there's an item in there. Oh interesting. Okay so things to do for that, but that's not what I wanted to do today. Um, let's go ahead and put our lever back. Actually, I don't want it on. I want it off. Ah! I forgot about that. Um, yeah, cool. So it's it's running a little bit now. Um, but I do want to get some more of my um, doodads up and going. Um, <laughs> I was playing with the draconic evolution thing, uh, trying to figure out how to only get the one chaos shard into uh, the crafter while the rest of them go to the injectors. Um, but the, the problem is I can't test it because I only have like the two chaos shards left. We have two and then, oh wow, I have 12 large and 10 small fragments. Um, that's, <laughs> that's the chaos shards I have to deal with. So what I'm thinking is I will fill up uh, our chest piece. Fill up our chest piece. Um, maybe a couple more shields. Oh, actually, this one's going to be for an undying module. So we're going to leave this one empty. We're going to make two shields that will go here. And we can get some more shield recoveries to fill up here and here. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe, maybe a couple more rechargers or another energy module? I mean, it can't hurt, I guess. I haven't had a problem with uh, the energy so far. So, um, yeah, that is the plan. Um, we did have three of them already made up, uh, so we just need the two to go right here. And I believe I have all of these guys um, already programmed in. Yeah. Uh, actually, 
Unfortunately, I don't have the the large shield where it actually takes this and combines it um, because. to go ahead and teach it the large shield capacity. Um, at least for, the, well, I guess I only need two combines of it, so we should be good. And then I can make the chaotic one, um, and that'll be fine. Um, so I know I'm going to need like 10 of these guys, so let's just ask for I'm going to turn on, oh wow, that was fast. I was expecting to have to wait for a minute. Uh, so we should be able to do this, a boom, and a boom. Nice. Um, and I can put you guys back away. Um, put you in here. And then shift C. And then there we go we got our two um, now we want like six of these little shield recovery modules um, those are these little guys right here of shield that should be there what we say six uh, yeah we're gonna fill these up today um, and Possibly in between episodes, I will go and fight the dragon again. Yeah, I think I want to do energy on this. Um, energy module. There we go. Um, do I have that guy? Ever, Evergy. I want the energy. This is Draconic Energy Module. Get two of those. And go. Okay. Um, shift C. That would be our, sh our chest piece done. Yeah, there we go. Just filled up. Nice. Uh, so we got the Undying Module there. And then after that, all we have to do is upgrade what we have to Chaotic. Um, I think uh, in order to use this, our shield has to be Chaotic. Um, and I think um, that would be good because I did use that a lot uh, in that fight. Um, So it would be beneficial to have three just in case. Um, there's something else I wanted to do. Um, okay, so we got, let's leave the Undying module. We got all of these guys that we wanted. Um, I was thinking, uh, I might want to, I'm not sure if I upgrade grade this to chaotic, if it will negate the gravity well. I mean, that would be kind of cool. <laughs> um, but I don't know. So I think I want to do the undying module chaotic first so that we can get our third one in here. Um, and then worry about the other stuff as we get more chaos shards. So yeah. Um, now we need to do, we got a lot 
the work on the bow, uh, but I think put some more accuracy here I don't I don't know that I have these guys automated um, accuracy no um, let's do this let's see I want like maybe some more of these guys velocity um, and some damage so we can do a boop, a boop, and a boop um, maybe we'll do another energy module in the bow as well. I don't know that it's worth um, just having the stored energy. Who knows? But it would also double the rate at which it receives energy as well. So that I'm not going to min-max it, but I think I would like to have another energy module in there, so I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put it in there. Um, here we go. Um, yeah, we we'll get more damage, more uh, velocity, and more accuracy uh, or inaccuracy less inaccuracy um, so right now we're at one percent inaccuracy um, which I think is pretty cool uh, so we got uh, plenty of stuff to do over here uh, before we need more inaccuracy, so or accuracy modules. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's check these guys out. Do we have? Uh, I don't. We don't have the accuracy, uh, and the other ones are velocity and damage. And this one we already uh, have automated. Oh, look, we do have the velocity modules in there. Um, that's pretty cool. And then the damage. Damage. Now, which we already have six in there. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, we'll take those. Oh, the, the damage ones are not automated. But we have six. Uh, so... Um, I think that's more than, uh, maybe we'll do those. And then we can fill these up with our velocity here and see how we're doing uh, with our accuracy and add more if we need it. Uh, yeah, we already have to... 39% inaccuracy. Um, so I think we might need some more. And this boy needs to get upgraded. Alright, the only thing is um, these guys require potions.
Splash Potion of Swiftness uh, for the Velocity and a Splash Potion of Strength for the Damage Modules. Um, I think what I could do is um, automate a couple of um, brewing stands, uh, not the actual brewing stands, our little um, industrial foregoing potion brewers. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got like a thousand potions of swiftness. Um, the only thing is, like I, the way I set up the uh, potions of swiftness, I just wanted to make as many as possible. Um, but the Flash potions of swiftness, I only want what I absolutely need. <laughs> uh, so I might do a crafter for it. No. Yeah, I think I want to do a crafter instead of just automatically exporting the items. Um, so, let's do this potion. Potion Brewer. Huzzah. And a boot. Um, a couple of repeaters. Um, there we go. A boot and a boot. And then... Um, we're gonna need two of those. Um, yeah. I think I definitely want to do two. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Two more repeaters. Whoa. Two more repeaters and room stand. I thought I did the thing. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. How is our draconium doing? I think once I'm done with this, ooh, it's up to 3.6k. Once I'm done uh, getting my upgrades, at least filling them up, uh, I'm going to turn back on the Wyvern energy module so it can start using up the draconium and getting our singularities for us. Um, we also need to do Dragon's Breath. Uh, why don't you... I know 
you've got a recipe, but why won't you? Oh, because it's already up there. I was like, why won't it go up there? <laughs> uh, so I think all we have for these guys is one singular essence out at uh, the barge. One singular seed out at the barge. So uh, we'll want to look into getting these automated too. Um, yeah. So um, in between episodes, I'm gonna set up these potion brewers uh, just like the other one. Oh, where did I put the other potion brewer? I think. I think it's here. But maybe, what are you detecting? If there's a thousand. Okay, that's cool. Um, but I won't need the detector because I will only use the crafter to put the items in. Uh, so that's basically what I'll do over here. Just add the potion brewers to it. Uh, no big deal. Um, get those uh, potions automated so that next time we can have our potions available to us to auto craft these guys. Because let me tell you, it's, it's painful having to go down and make your own potions by hand manually <laughs> it's just it's horrible okay so oh, we're gonna get this uh going and yeah <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye